Remember that time I did that social media intervention for Gabi over here? Well, it didn't really go that well, but we're gonna try this again because we're in need of another kind of intervention. Except for this intervention is an intervention from us to us because we just kind of realized this, but there's a strong possibility that we might be a part of a cult. As in a thousand percent, we are a part of a cult. Accidentally. Hey guys, welcome to Domestic Partners where we talk about food, drink, and all things domestic. I'm Gabby from whatsgabbycooking.com. I'm Aida from AidaMollenCamp.com. And this week we are sweating the small slash not so small stuff because we think we might accidentally be part of a cult. We're definitely part of a cult and it's called Soul Cycle. And we love it, but here are some signs that you might actually be part of a cult too. Number one is a uniform. Take Aida for an example. She's wearing skin tight pants, her bra's hanging out, she's got a bright Soul Cycle shirt on, and her hair's curled. Clearly, she's ready for a Soul Cycle class. Totally 100% ready. And then, of course, there's an issue of exclusivity who they let in, who they don't let in. Like at Soul Cycle on Mondays at noon, they release all the by eights, 11 50. Go, go, go. Most oh. stressful two minutes of our week. Oh, I didn't get the bike I want to get on. Oh, fine, my inner peace. Okay, up next is vocabulary. You need to learn a whole new language if you're gonna be in Soul Cycle. Like, dig deep. Tap it back. Find your soul. Find your inspiration. This is what I'm talking about. You have to know a whole other language when you're there. And then, of course, they want you to also eat and drink like they do, which in this case, with Soul Cycle is becoming a juicer. So you have to drink things like Gobby's green juice. Now, you guys know from our Juicing versus Smoothies video that I am a smoothie girl, but in order to be a part of the Soul Cycle clan, I drink the green juice. Yeah, because you have to fit in in this romaine, parsley, kale, spinach, ginger, lemon, and a little bit of apple is exactly what you need. Okay, and I think everyone knows that every cult has a leader, and Soul Cycle not only has one leader, they have many who make you submit to their commands, and if you are not on beat, you are exiled. Basically, your teacher is your cult leader. And then, of course, there is the ultimate sign of a cult. They have you do a seance. At the end of class, they take around little lights and put them around next to your bike, and then you have to namaste. This week's food for thought is, I love Soul Cycle because they're like the Valentino of exercise. We overheard that from whoever was on Bike 27 last week. True story. Sorry. All right, that's it for this week's episode of Domestic Partners. We will see you right back here next week for another episode. And if you think you might be part of a cult, let us know below. We'll resolve this together. See you next week.